Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? going to be uh, how to run an overhead, uh, the proper sequence on an 855 Cummins, or better known as like a big cam 4. Uh, this is a 400 uh, horsepower engine. Um, it came to us because somebody had uh, got in there before uh, it came to me, and, uh, and Diesel Yoda, so Diesel Yoda's back for a couple videos, maybe a couple more coming up. Uh, what we had to do was run the overhead on this thing. Uh, Jim cut his teeth uh, back when he was, oh God, 20 years ago on big cam stuff. So he's pretty much uh, known as a big cam specialist uh, in this side of, you know, in one of our areas here. So Jim's got a lot of knowledge on big cams. And uh, we just had to run this overhead uh, a little bit and figure out the thing was just, when it came in, it was just pouring smoke and it had some misses. And Jim's going to show you how to check for misses on, uh, you know, some engines. It does have a little bit of a misfire, but after we got the overhead ran properly, uh, we got that fixed. So, uh, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this video. I tried some new camera angles and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, all that jazz. Guys, uh, we're here with Diesel Yoda, and we are doing some diagnostic on an 855 Cummins, and we are going to do some shit. If it gets loud, I will voice over all this. But we're going to do some diagnostic work here. So, Jim, whenever you're ready. Okay, Jim, so you're saying that we got a number three cylinder is missing. Is missing. Okay. And it's odd that that's on the same head that's got a broken bolt, too. Well, the broken bolt is back here. Yeah, no, that's usually where they break, too. All right. Well, we'll get the Jake brakes off of this and check the overhead. Make sure that that's an adjustment. Uh, we're going to take the Jake's off, check the overhead, and then uh, I'm going to call the customer and telling him that we got some diagnostic problems and see what he wants to do and uh, stuff like that. We got the Jake brakes off. Uh, now what I have to do is um, torque these down to 
70 foot pounds and we have to do this before we run the overhead which Jim is getting ready to set up to do. I'm sure he's going to bar the engine over till spot one. So nice and easy. Luckily I got torque wrenches. Oh motherfucker, come on. Man, Jim, 70 foot pounds ain't very much, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 716. The funds of working on old junk, ain't it, Jim? Yeah. And then uh, this is a little bit different sequence. Uh, Jim is telling me from an N14, which is what I'm used to doing. Uh, me and Jim have done my overhead uh, twice. <sighs> once before the engine blew up, once after the engine blew up. So, you know, man, these are weight. Alrighty, all those are torqued. Uh, we'll get ready to come back on this overhead shit and uh, go from there. All right, Jim's barring the engine over. Uh, I'm over. I'm up here looking pretty. Uh, but what he said is the accessory drive has three marks on it like a Cummins. A cat, like, you, N14. like an N14, yeah. Like a, the Cummins is different than a Caterpillar, which we'll be doing a Caterpillar later today, and we'll run through that sequence too. Man, them look extremely loose, dog. Yeah. All right, Jim is noticing that uh, Jim, that's fucking 50,000, bud. Well, maybe we will be successful. All right, let's hope. Okay, 11 and 23. 11 and 23, I got the screwdriver. Let's see what we're at. Because I guarantee it's more than... Uh, that's 100,000 or more. I'll let you read that, just to verify it. Uh, I got my contacts in. That's 11 right there. And there's 23. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's, that's 100 thou. Alright, let's turn. Oh yeah, Jim. Alright, if you want to double check those, but I think that that's where I would run them. Let's tighten them down, see what we do. Well, you can try that. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is old school technique right here. Because we could leave them a little loose. Okay, I'm not on there. See what you got there, Jim. That one's about perfect. Yeah. Well, the intake being a little tight, that's going to be the one that's going to loosen anyway. See, this is where my wrench makes it nice. Yeah, yeah, well. But some jackass forgot it. Yeah, I don't know who forgot it, Jim. Not used to working on this old shit. There we go. Tight. Perfect. Is right. it tight? Yeah. just going to take a little bit more time but okay you want that one loose all right now we're doing so on the first sequence Jim it's two valves right or we're on cylinder two. Oh my God. Six. or cylinder six and now we adjust two and four now this wow seems a little loose it's kind of hard to tell it actually follows the firing sequence. Okay. We're, number six is firing right now. Yes. So the next cylinder, one, five, three, six, two, was a valve, and four, and your firing sequence is your injector. Is your injector, all right. It follows the firing sequence. I'd say that was a little bit loose. Now this one, I'm not gonna let you I, you're, you can get on that one with the curse, but I want to get a 7 16 wrench. Alright, Jim's got to go get a 7 16 wrench. The injectors are more important than the, well, the valve lash, I guess you could say. You know, like we can get it a little tight. And uh, what Jim has there is 
Uh, these torque down to six inch pound torque wrench. Uh, that's what this tool is right here. Well, the thing is, with the valves, we were using a feeler gauge that we can tell whether we over yeah, tightened tighten them. Where with the injector, we don't have that option. We don't want it to move. All right, there you go. Tight? Yep, tight. All righty. Now we move on to the next, the next one. That was number six, so the next one coming up should be number two. Firing. Yep, that looks correct. We are closing. Now we just adjusted the injector on that, so that's where we'll go for the valves next. Okay. I see now that one's about right. Yep, and that one's not very loose. Let's just see something before we get crazy here. Yeah. All right. I think I would leave them be. Yep, we're going to leave them be. Those are perfect. Five, three, six, two, four, okay, one. Right. one. Number one injector. Now you got to be careful with this tool because it wants to snap back, so you kind of got to hold. You got to hold the wrench, you got to hold the socket. Hold the socket keep it from kicking back because when it snaps it will loosen it back up. Alright. There's that one. Alright, now we're gonna run the over the other sequence. Bows on one. Bows on one. Injector on five. Injector on five. So that sounds loose. Yep, that's a little loose. He could have a cam going out of this fucking thing, you know that? Yep. yep. Okay, I think it's that would be not unlikely on these. Really? Do they have cam problems? Yeah. And that's just for lack of maintenance. Yeah. Well, this thing sat for five years, and then they just went and got it out and ran it. Because when you don't keep your tolerances right on this cam, on this on this 855, it actually beats on the cam. All right. And flakes it off. I think you know, like this ain't no top fuel car, but. Uh, how we adjusted valves there, we would have them like super fucking tight just because the aluminum engine uh, I've always just been taught with the aluminum engine you want to make your valve clearance uh, your valve lash a little tight because the engine's going to heat up so much you lose clearance so on a cast iron engine uh, that's not as it's not as critical uh, to do whatever but you know, I think that's good. Let me go ahead and pull that. That's good. Pull that. And then we'll recheck. Damn it. Now we got them a little tight. Okay. Yeah, I really don't think so far. I don't think it's going to help this guy. The overhead is fucked up. But. Yeah, the, I, I, I know that the overhead's fucked up, but I, that's not going to fix it. And that's what I tried to tell him. We'll take the money either way. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take his money. And, and, and cinder? And cinder. Oh, Jim, that one's better. That's better than sex right there. Nice. Perfect. All right. Injector on number five, correct? One five, yeah. One five. As you can tell, fun running an overhead on a Cummins on the old coming hey, now, you're see there, unless we move that that thing's already off yeah no I didn't I just broke the bolt loose a lot let me get my crow's foot Jim all right you guys can't see it back here but it's still the repeat process Ready? All right. Now we should be on. That should have been number four firing. Number one. Just done the valves on one. Yes, yeah, so and we need injector on five. So we should do the valves on five. A little yeah. bit tightening. Yep. The exhaust. Pretty damn close. Not worth fucking with. Not worth fucking with.
I love my contacts, but I can't see up close, with it, man. <laughs> All right, Jim. I'm so fucking nearsighted. Or far, yeah, nearsighted. Let's see what happens there. Let me tell you. Perfect. Okay, one, five, three. Let me get this out of here. Okay. All right, now we're on to cylinder three. How does that one feel? Feels all right. I'm gonna set him anyways. Well, that's the one that we thought we were having problems with. We haven't even done the jigs. Alright, ready? Hold on. Tight? Yeah. Okay, so we're after the valves on three, on top three, and the injector on six. Plugs, huh? No, tight as fuck. Not have any lash at all? None. None. Yeah, very little. Very little. Good, right? Not a not a bit of lash. Injector on that one. Injector on number six. Got her? No. Now? Oh. <laughs> All right. How about that? All righty. Now the valve's on six, right? Yep. Then the injector on two. But ain't that where we started? One, five, three, six. Should be number two. Oh my god. <laughs> which one's fire? C three, which would be injector two, valve six, which is what we said. Yeah. Alright. That injector is definitely fucked off. Alright, so this should be the intake exhaust. Yeah. The exhaust, perfect. Not fucking with it. The other way you can tell is that on these, the bridges are wider for the exhaust. Oh, okay. Tight. Yeah, that's a little tight. The exhaust is fine. That one wasn't so over tightened either. <laughs> no, this one wasn't gorilla -ed. Okay, a little tight. I hate working on big trucks. Jim, you just can't stand up here. Well, perfect. And even worse, it's a dump truck. Yeah, it's a dump truck. Fucking <laughs> piece of shit. All right, number two injector. Over tight. It was loose. Yeah, but the nuts over tight. Jesus, God. The overhead was fucked up. Ready? Okay. Oh, fuck. Loosen it back up. Now let's try that bullshit again if, if I don't fuck up the procedure. Let me go to the other side this time. Ready? Yep. Okay. That should be it. Now we're back to A. That should be number six firing again, right? Yep. 
That's where we started. That's where we started. That's how you run an overhead on a Big Cam 855. It's a Big Cam 4, correct, Jim? Yes. Big Cam 4. Uh, that's how you do that. I will ask Jim to send me a text message of his little picture, and I will figure out how to put that in there so you guys understand the sequence. Um, basically, we're just going to put the jakes back on. Uh, you lash those to 18. I'm not going to film none of that shit, and then bolt this stuff back on. And then me and him got some water pump belts and all this other bullshit to fix. But that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, fuck it. Send her. <laughs> So, like always, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, me and Jim running this big cam and all that shit. You know, we fucked around. Uh, it took us uh, a couple hours to get this one right just because it was so off. But, uh, anyway, check out the Patreon account if you want to be involved in the tool raffles. If you like this channel uh, and you want to support this channel, check out the, the Amazon link. I'll roll, it'll be a card in the beginning of the video for OnlineToolVendors.com. That's where if you see any tools on this uh, or on my you know YouTube channel and you want to purchase them off Amazon anything that I use it's all on there I'm trying to get McMaster car and MSC on there uh, going forward with some of the machinish stuff but uh, you know check out Facebook Instagram all that jazz check out the snap on junkie.com we still have uh, a bunch of sweatshirts and t-shirts and women's panties for sale uh, you know they're all on sale got to move those out so we can move on to something else and, uh, you know, like always, uh, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.